friends. We continue to work our way through the colors of the rainbow with worship and celebration and crafts and stories together. This week I have a prayer as we light our rainbow candle together that I wanted to share with you. I hope this candle helps us be together even though we're not actually together. May God give you a rainbow for every storm, angel wings to keep you warm, compassion for every tear, release from every fear, a greeting with a smile, a blessing for every trial, a friend for every frown, a hug when you are down, a promise for every care, and answered prayers. I hope you enjoy our time together this morning. Amen. Hello, everyone. How are you today? It is good to be here with you. I want to share a story with you from my favorite Bible, my favorite children's Bible, the Spark, uh, the Spark Story Bible, about a very special occasion in our Christian church. It is the story of Pentecost, which we also refer to sometimes as the birthday of the church. So let's Let's hear this story now, and maybe you have this Bible at home. You'll find this story on page 502, and it's called The Holy Spirit. Jesus' disciples were celebrating a festival called Pentecost, when suddenly a strong wind blew through the house. Everyone's hair lifted up, and there was an amazing noise. They looked at each other. It looked like each disciple had a flame of fire touching them, but no one was burned. The Holy Spirit had come just as Jesus promised. The disciples began speaking in different languages, languages many of them, if all of them, had never learned. But stranger yet, they could understand each other. Peter stood up. I want to tell you all about Jesus. And he reminded everyone what Jesus taught. He told them how Jesus died and lives again. It's time for us to begin a new life with God's spirit guiding us, Peter said. The disciples were excited to live differently guided by God's spirit. This was the very beginning of the Christian church. I love that story. What's your favorite part of our story today? What's your favorite part? And what, what do you think the most important part of the story is? I wonder what God is saying to us in this story. Some things to think about as we remember. Thanks for listening. See you soon. Hello, and welcome to Craft Time. You may remember that for the last few weeks, we've been working our way through the colors of the rainbow. We still have a few more weeks left, but today we're going to make a rainbow sign or poster. Now, remember that the rainbow is a sign of God's promise. It reminds us of God's many promises to us. And it also reminds us that God's promises are open to everybody. And so for this craft, you will need some construction paper in the colors of the rainbow. And I have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet here. You will need a glue stick, a ruler, a pen or a pencil. I recommend a pencil 
it will be a lot easier to erase if you make a mistake. And some scissors. And remember, as always, if you need help with an adult with your scissors, please ask. And so why don't you assemble all those things and I will meet you at the craft table for our special rainbow poster or sign craft. I'll see you in a couple seconds. Bye. Well, welcome to the craft table. As I said, we are making a rainbow poster to remind us of the rainbow, which we've been working in for the past several weeks, the colors of the rainbow, and we've worked our way through those various colors. Uh, we have a couple more weeks left, but I thought this would be a good activity to remind us of what we're working through. And remember, the rainbow uh, reminds us of God's promise. Um, to us and that God's promises are available to everybody and that though we're all different, God loves us all the same. And so let's get into our craft. And so remember I said you need some construction paper in the colors of the rainbow. You'll need a ruler, a pen or a pencil. I would go with a pencil if I were you. I didn't have one at home so I had to live dangerously with a pen and a glue stick and some scissors. And remember, if you're not comfortable using scissors on your own, make sure you get a parent to help you. And so our craft is this, we're going to cut strips and I've pre-cut some of the strips already, just so it would save us some time. And with your construction paper, you're gonna take a ruler and you're gonna mark off some sections on your paper. So my ruler is in inches. Do you remember inches? Boy, that's old school. So I marked off an inch, and then an inch and a half. And I'll explain why I did two marks on each side in a second. Uh, so on this side, an inch and an inch and a half. In centimeters, it would be something like 2.5 centimeters, and then the second mark would be at maybe 3.5 centimeters. And that will give you kind of the same. What we wanna do is we wanna give ourselves a little bit of a lip. And so the distance between the first mark and the second mark gives us place to put our glue. Yes, so that we can glue it all together. And so I've made a line already with my ruler, again, just to save us a little bit of time. And we will cut our first color out. As you remember in the rainbow, a really great way to remember the colors of the rainbow is an acronym, which is the first letter of each of those colors. And it spells Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, which is fancy blue, and violet or purple. So we take our first color, red, and our second color, and we'll get that one ready. And we're gonna get our glue stick. You can use white glue or other kinds of glue as well, but I just find that glue stick is the easiest because it just applies so easy, and it's no fuss, no mess, and it's just, Super easy. So we're gonna line this up with our first mark. Because remember, we cut on our second mark. We have those two marks at an inch and an inch and a half. And between those two marks, that's where our glue goes. After the second mark, that's where we would have done our cuts. And that's where I did my cut on all these. And so we have red, orange, yellow. And we'll just line that up. This one's a bit off, so I'll just have to make sure that I get it on there. There we go. Oops, slid again. And another great thing with glue stick is that you can manipulate it and move it around as you need if you don't get it in quite the right spot to begin with. And so we we'll put glue on our yellow and we'll get ready for our green. Here comes our green. And with this little poster, you can hang it on your wall or put it in your window or lots of different things with it. And then we'll move this one up and we'll get ready for our blue. So remember we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue. There's our blue coming on. There we go. And there's blue. And what comes after blue? Yeah, fancy blue, indigo. 
I like indigo. It's a very vibrant color. It stands out a lot. It's a very nice color. It's bright and makes me feel happy when I see it. So there's our indigo. And we'll just push that down so that the glue sticks to it. And then we have one more color. And that's the color violet, which is kind of a purple, isn't it? It's a fancy purple. So we had fancy blue and now we have fancy purple. And we'll just get that ready. And there's our violet. There we go. And so there's our rainbow sign. Now, if you want to give this a little more stability, you can actually put it on a piece of cardstock as well if you have one at home. And you just glue the whole thing to that big piece of cardstock and that will give it a lot more firmness. But it's pretty good on its own as well. And there is our rainbow sign. Thanks for hanging out at the craft table and we'll see you again soon. Bye.